Welcome to today's video, where we'll explore the tragic and significant story of the murder of Reverend James Reeb, a civil rights activist whose death in 1965 became a pivotal moment in the fight for racial equality in the United States. We'll discuss the stories of those involved, the impact of Reeb's murder on the civil rights movement, and the importance of continuing his legacy today. Viewer discretion is advised as some contents may be distressing. Reverend James Reeb was a white Unitarian Universalist minister and an active supporter of the civil rights movement in America. Though he is most well known for his involvement in the Selma voting rights movement, his commitment to social justice and racial equality can be traced back to his earlier work and he demonstrated a consistent dedication to the cause of civil rights and social justice in America. Examples include, one, his ministry in Philadelphia. Reverend Reeve served as a minister at the First Unitarian Church of Philadelphia, where he actively engaged in outreach efforts to address racial and economic inequality in the city. Under his leadership, the church became more involved in community programs, and Reverend Reeve himself often preached about the importance of social justice and civil rights. Two, his ministry in Washington, D.C. In 1964, Reverend Reeve moved to Washington, D.C. to work with the American Friends Service Committee, AFSC, as a community organizer. The AFSC is a Quaker organization that promotes peace and social justice, and Reverend Reeve's role there involved working with low-income residents to address issues such as housing, employment, and education. Three, his civil rights activism. Throughout his ministry, Reverend Reed was a vocal advocate for racial equality and social justice. He participated in various civil rights demonstrations and was a member of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, SCLC for short, which was an organization founded by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr to coordinate civil rights activities throughout the South. He also worked with other religious and civil rights leaders in promoting interfaith cooperation on social justice issues. On March 7, 1965, around 600 civil rights activists attempted to march from Selma, Alabama to Montgomery, Alabama to demand equal voting rights for African Americans. However, they were violently attacked by state troopers and local enforcement at the Edmund Pettus Bridge. This horrific event, which came to be known as Bloody Sunday, shocked the nation and galvanized support for the civil rights movement. In response to Bloody Sunday, Reverend Reed traveled to Selma, Alabama to stand in solidarity with the protesters. On March 9, 1965, after dining at a local African-American-owned restaurant, Reverend Reed and two other ministers, Reverend Orloff Miller and Reverend Clark Olson, were attacked by a group of white supremacists. Reeb suffered severe head injuries and died two days later on March 11, 1965, at the age of 38. The assailants, Elmer Cook, William Stanley Hoggle, and Naaman O'Neill Hoggle, were arrested and charged with Reeb's murder. However, Despite overwhelming evidence and eyewitness testimonies, an all-white jury acquitted them, showcasing the deep-rooted racial bias present in the legal system at the time. Elmer Cook later died in 2011, William Stanley Hoggle died in 1996, and Naaman O'Neill Hoggle died in 2016. And in 2017, a possible fourth person claimed involvement in Reverend Reeves' murder. This man, William Portwood, made this claim to NPR just two weeks before his death. The murder of Reverend James Reed shocked the nation and intensified calls for federal action on voting rights. President Lyndon B. Johnson addressed the nation on March 15, 1965, condemning Reverend Reed's murder and urging Congress to pass the Voting Rights Act. In fact, President Johnson declared the events in Selma, Alabama, an American tragedy, which he said should strengthen people's determination to bring full and equal and exact justice to all of our people. 
and President Johnson's voting rights proposal reached Congress the Monday after Reverend Reeves' death. And finally, in August 1965, the Voting Rights Act was signed into law outlawing discriminatory voting practices and ensuring the right to vote for African Americans. The Voting Rights Act of 1965 was a landmark piece of legislation that sought to end racial discrimination in voting. The Act banned literacy tests, which had been used to suppress African American voters, and it provided for federal oversight of voter registration in areas with a history of discriminatory voting practices. The passage of the Voting Rights Act marked a significant victory for the civil rights movement and for the fight for racial equality in the United States. Reverend James Reeves' activism was tragically cut short by his murder in Selma, Alabama in 1965. So as we remember his tragic story and the courageous actions of those who fought for voting rights in Selma, Alabama, let us not forget the importance of continuing the fight for racial equality and for justice that they and so many others dedicated their lives to. The fight is not over and likely it may never be over. Share your thoughts on Reverend Reeves' story on Bloody Sunday and the ongoing struggle for civil rights in America in the comments below. And help us spread awareness by liking and sharing this video. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.